Can you tell us a little bit about how you became aware of research? Um, it was actually a couple of months ago, um, sadly my mum was diagnosed with terminal cancer um, and we got an information pack come through and we had to read through that and my mum and my family had a chat with it and we decided to take part in the research. Um, and was there anything that you, your family or your mum particularly wanted to know before she did take part? Um, I think a big thing for us was knowing the amount of time we've got left with mum. And I know for my mum it was a big thing as well. So taking part in the research is not only helping us but helping others to know in the future how long they've got left with a terminal illness. Um, and did you feel that um, you had the opportunity to ask questions and you could have said, oh, no, thanks, that's not for me? Yeah, all the way through. The team have been great. They've been, they've been there to support us. And at any time we could have backed out and said, no, we don't, we don't want to get involved. But, no, I think it's important that we keep, keep going. And were you surprised that um, you were asked about research? I was, actually, um, to be honest with you, because so many people suffer, suffer with cancer. And, yeah, to be asked, it was... Yeah, it was, um, it was a nice opportunity. Um, and how did you feel? Did you feel that it was important or that it was something that was an additional thing to be doing? Or? Um, I think this research especially is very important. Um, to know how long you've got left with a loved one when the diagnosis is such a, a terrible illness mm -hmm. makes all the difference. Um, we were told that maybe we had 10 or 12 months with mum and sadly I think it was about six months. Mm -hmm. So if we would have had a, a more accurate diagnosis, we could have planned and done a lot more. However, the rapid progress of the cancer, sadly, prevented us in doing it. So I think research like this, if it was an accurate timing, mm. would be absolutely amazing and, and life-changing, not only for the person, but for the family also. Um, and did you, um, would you think you'd like to take part in research in the future? Um, definitely, definitely. It's something that's very close to my heart and um, if we don't experience things and try things, how can we help anybody else? And it's only people who have been through stuff that can actually say, well, hang on, this is what's happening. So, yeah, I think research is definitely the way forward. And do you think in terms of the research, there was anything that could have been done better? Um, not really, no. I think, to be fair, you guys are doing an absolute amazing, amazing job. and. I suppose more information, but that's what we're here for and that's what we're finding out. So yeah, the more research and the more information we can get, the more we can inform patients and families and carers. And what if someone else was saying, oh, I've been asked to take part in some research, I'm not really sure what I think about it, what advice would you maybe give them or what would you say to them? It's not as scary as you might first think. Um, it's, you, get, you get a lot of support, you get a lot of help. Um, I'd recommend to do it because, like I say, if nobody puts in the effort for research, how is it going to help anybody else? Um, so yeah, definitely I'd encourage them to give it a go and try and help change somebody else's life.